they look like they're having so much fun over there and I can't do that. <laughs> All those type ones. I guess so, you know, <laughs> there's comparisons and that gets us into deep water too. Hey everybody and welcome to Epic Every Day, our weekday podcast for busy, overwhelmed Christians who don't want to live in that place. I want to find freedom and abundance and peace. I'm Liz Frerichs, and this is my husband, Evan. Hello there. And we're so glad you guys are here with us today on this lovely Wednesday. That's right. <laughs> this week, we are talking about dignity, and we're working our way through the CSCs as usual. Yeah. CSCs are being calm, surrendered, centered, connected, and complete. So today, since it's Wednesday, we're going to talk about being centered. Yeah. So we're going to talk about, well, yesterday we talked about kind of ex more external things that want to come in and steal your dignity, like the things other people say about you. I mean, we talked about a little bit of internal stuff too, but mm -hmm. since today's centered, we're going to be really focused on the bad messages we give ourselves about our identity, about our value. Mm -hmm. We steal dignity from ourselves. I mean, and a lot of that has to do with shame, which we talked in depth about last Wednesday, difference between guilt and shame, but I think we'll probably touch on it a little bit today too. Possibly. Yeah. Who knows? Because shame is just as a reminder, it's um, it's a bad, it's a value that we give ourselves when we do something wrong with, or make a mistake. Instead of just saying, oh, I did something wrong. We start to say, I am something wrong. Right. And that's shame. We're redefining ourselves based on our failure. Right. I'm when, clumsy. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah. Those I am statements rather than like, <clears throat> oh, I broke a cup. It's I'm clumsy. Yeah. I'm a clutch. We're putting ourself um, down. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And. And we're diminishing our dignity. And there's no room for that in the Christian life. Seriously. Because being centered is all about living out of the essence of who God designed us to be. And without dignity, we're not being our true selves. Because by definition, we're made in God's image. We have dignity. But so often, you know, we believe that we're junk. Like, we're kind of like, you know, uh, training a flea. Okay. So <laughs> this is something you have experience with. <laughs> <laughs> no, but um, JB Glossinger uses it on his podcast okay. fairly often. Um, so, and it's something Zig Ziglar talked about, but training a flea, the way to train a flea is you get a jar, you put a lid on it, and then you let the flea try to jump out. Okay. And it'll keep jumping and hitting the lid and keep jumping and hitting the lid. And then eventually the flea learns, don't jump that high. So it will jump to just below the lid. And that's when you can take the lid off and the flea will never jump out of the jar. <laughs> because it's learned oh my goodness. that's how far it can jump. Okay. Or like we were talking about a couple weeks ago with the horse that's tied to a patio chair. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. we, we internalize these things and we have these beliefs and they're not really true they're not really um, holding us not, there not remotely true <laughs> right but I mean, we act like they are yeah sure we We've, act like they're true yeah we allow those beliefs to make our world small yes and, i mean when we talk about freedom and abundance and peace that freedom part like this is taking away that freedom mm -hmm. i mean in god especially when we're answering our calling the sky's the limit. I mean, it's up to God how, what kind of calling that's going to be and how big it's going to be. And I mean, you could go see the world by answering God's call, or you could never leave your hometown. And it's just as epic because it's God saying, this right. is what I made you to do. And now let's go do it. Right. Because it's so, it's some, so unique. It's something only you can do that you're designed to do. And it's, you know, it's just amazing that you get this, this opportunity to do something that is nobody else can do it for it's you. It's a mission designed just right. for you. Exactly. It's amazing. But if we believe that we're junk, we're not going to put ourselves out there. Mm -hmm. You know, if, if you really believe that you are a worthless person, I mean, you have nothing to give. Yeah. So, so where do some of those, where some of those internal messages come from? I mean, we talked at, about yesterday's, you know, other people giving us messages and stuff, but when it's just us looking at us, why do we talk down to ourselves, do you think? Well, honestly, I think it has a lot to do with childhood stuff. I mean, 
I know that sounds like a therapist, but in my experience, that's the truth. You know, it's things that we, the way that we heard other people talk about themselves when we were kids, you know. Yeah, people can be really critical. Yeah, and even if they're being critical of themselves, it rubs off on a kid. Totally. Hmm. Yeah, so I think, I mean, it doesn't matter. Everybody's got some kind of trauma in their past, whether it's, you know, big T trauma or little T trauma. There's always something that our brains weren't quite ready to handle that happens just by definition of living in a broken world. So I think that stuff, you know, rubs off on us to where that's that, that inner critical voice that we hear. I mean, most of us have somebody that we hear, you know, Mm. even when we're talking to ourselves, it's still exactly what somebody else said to us. We're just repeating Mm. it. Yeah. Or we can, yeah. I'm trying to think of my my own inner voice. I think of it as usually me just being like, ah, oh, you messed up. <laughs> but <laughs> Well, yeah. But when you say, oh, you messed up, who said that to you first? Yeah. Who knows? Yeah. You know? And who <clears throat> who was like, that's an acceptable, whether they said uh, it to you we're defining, or... Yeah. Right. Because somewhere along the way, we learn, like, this is an acceptable way to talk to ourselves. Mm. Whether it's listening to a parent be like, oh my gosh, I'm so stupid. You know, if they say that to themselves and they are constantly putting themselves down, you learn. That's what you do. You put yourself down, you know? Mm -hmm. I think another place these negative messages that come from inside us come from is when we are comparing ourselves to other people. And then we can start to see things that are just fine and they're part of us like, you know, our our body type or our personality or our giftings and our, our interests. I mean, some of these things are just ingrained in who we are because God's like, I want you to be like this. And then it's like, you know, for me, it's being an introvert. Like I'm fine with it now, but I'd always had kind of regretted it or wished I was more of an outgoing person for a lot of my childhood. Cause I was like, well, they look like they're having so much fun over there and I can't do that. <laughs> All those type ones. I guess so. You know, there's, <laughs> comparisons and that gets us into deep water too yeah i agree and because for some reason we're like that's more valuable than the stuff i've got the stuff they've got is cooler than the stuff i got right and then we start to think that we got you know a bad you know deal the the cards you're dealt or whatever people always say and we're like well i got bad cards there's no there's no bad what did i say he said deal the hands (laughs) or deal the cards you dealt Uh, yeah who knows you know what i mean (laughs) yes and i think especially Today, it is so easy for us to get stuck in the comparison game because we have media constantly saying, Mm -hmm. you know, the way that people sell things is by saying, you are not good enough. And here's what you need to be good enough. Right. You know. You're not complete without this Coke. Right. Exactly. (laughs) And then we have social media where people are putting highlights reel of their lives up there and we compare their highlights reel to our everyday life and... Wow, it really doesn't match up, mm-hmm. you know? Yeah, and it really is too bad because, you know, whatever it is, you know, like for me it was being an introvert, it's robbed me of being able to do um, some more public type stuff that was part of my calling maybe. I you know, feel like getting into now with the podcast and being an elder at church and a Sunday school teacher, it's like that was not even on my radar when I was 15. You know, it's like, oh, I guess I'm just going to, be uh, a stagehand or something, you know, (laughs) something in the shadows. I don't know. God does such an intricate dance of how he made us and the calling he calls on us, right? Right. And it's all intentional. Yeah. And it's all amazing. Mm -hmm. But we can't just flip a switch. No. I mean, especially if you have this ingrained ingrained beliefs for a long time. If you are like a flea that has been trained you, you got to get yourself, untrained. You right. got to get some new training, right? You exactly. Don't just, uh, you don't just realize one day the lid's off the jar because because we're a flea, <laughs> right? We just jump. Exactly. So, and that takes help. You can't do it by yourself. Mm-hmm. It takes tools and people to, you know, train you in those tools and help you along the way. Yeah, I mean that's one of the reasons we're putting this podcast out there because it's stuff that we've learned. We're trying to share as much as we can about our experiences and we also are putting together that class and we're going to hope we're going to do a lot more classes too but 
This mm-hmm. Get your year organized class that we just released is kind of the first steps of like, let's take a little inventory here and see what's going on with me and with the, my environment. Am right. I moving towards my calling and my goals or not? And for stuff like this, that's belief system rather than external things like, oh, I just need to write down my goals and be a little more organized. You know, you need stuff like tapping, um, emotional freedom technique, which is, that's another term for tapping, Mm -hmm. um, or EMDR or cranial sacral therapy, you know, something to help you process through those beliefs so that you can have a change at the heart level. Yeah. I mean, there's also support groups, you know, cause that's right. there. You're practicing this, these new neural pathways that you're trying to develop in a community. And that's a powerful way to, right. to rewire your brain and, and to understand the world more accurately. Yeah. And pray. Yes. And we're always going to advocate that. I know that when I have, one of the things that I did several years ago was I wrote down my who I wanted to be list, like just different characteristics that I wanted to have. And I started just reading that occasionally and praying through it. And the Lord has been very faithful to bring different classes into my life, different people into my life, books, just different resources from all over the place that address that list. So if you pray, you know, God is faithful. He'll bring the right resources into your life. And if you're interested You know, once we get through our free class, our paid class will have, you know, how to actually do tapping and some of those other things. So, yeah, we're looking forward to putting that together. Yeah, it's going to be awesome. Hopefully that gives us all something to think about. I know I need to be constantly challenged to listen to what God says about who I am instead of trying to listen to my own inner critic. Yeah, we want to put that shame behind us and just leave it there because we are our toughest critics. When we start to get engaged in shame, we're stepping off the path that God has for us. Because we live in the gospel of grace now. We love you guys and we are praying for you. Thank you so much to everybody that's been sharing the show. If you have found this podcast helpful, please do continue to share it because the more people that are living in the CSCs, the healthier the entire body of Christ is. All right, have an awesome Wednesday, you guys. Talk to you later.